Appreciate you hitting the button. Welcome to the How to Hustle podcast with Hype. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter at I am Hype. That's H Y M P E. It's Hype. It's not Hype. I'm not geeked up. Appreciate you hitting the button. Welcome to the How to Hustle podcast with Hype. This is episode 129. You follow me on Instagram and Twitter at I am Hype. It's H Y M P E. It's Hype. It's not Hype. I'm not geeked up. Special guest in the building. Introduce yourself to the audience. Oh, man. What a pleasure, man. I appreciate you first and foremost for having me on. My name is Marcel Brown. Just a re- regular, average servant of God, man. I, um, I'm on here because I met this uh, amazing hustling brother a week, about a week ago. and as you can see, we already getting busy, so I'm excited to get into it. As y'all know, I kill niggas when they come on throwing out the whole government. <laughs> we like oh, to be comfortable. Wow. Say, no, but listen, I'm gonna you, <laughs> listen, I'm going to keep it real. Though. I'm, I'm glad that's a segue into what I'm really about, man. I, I had to kill myself. You know that? Like I really had to kill the version of who I was and then really claim who I feel like um, God is, 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 is driving me to be. And that's really my authentic self. So, I mean, why not? That's my name. Hold up. I'm, let me set you up for it. You, you leading yourself down the path. Let's get you right here. We're going to flip the script because this is another spotlight episode. So we usually end the show with what do you need to know. On a spotlight episodes, we start the show with what you need to know. And these spotlights are sponsored by H2H Cleaning. At H2H Cleaning on Instagram only. We do roof and plumbing, flooring, HVAC, cleanups, cleanouts, remodeling. However you need it to make it, make it happen. You get it with us at H2H Cleaning, and we will make all of that happen. If you make it worth my while, we will slide. Now, you're telling us what we need to know. You go ahead and lead us down the path. Talk to us. So first and foremost, I don't know if y'all know about Kansas and Philadelphia, but uh, it's one of the, the nations, if not the nations. Last time I checked, it was the nation's biggest poorest city or, 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 or biggest poorest Philadelphia is. Let me say that. And if um, you don't, so, for those who are, hold up, for those who are from out of town, it is Hampstead, it's real life Hampstead Dam in Kensington. <laughs> okay. Crazy. You like, watch the wire, you, you see Hampstead Dam. Like, zombie land, Hampstead Dam was yeah. on the wire. <laughs> oh, all right. So, yeah. That definitely uh, is definitely some movie stuff, but real life stuff going on in Kensington. But um, the good thing about that is I represent a, a nonprofit by the name of Ride Free Organization. And uh, we do some amazing work in Kensington, man. Um, so I'll just get right into it, man. We offer free resources. Everything we offer is free. Um, and like we were just saying, Kensington is crazy. So really not many things are considered good coming out of Kensington. Um, I'm, I was born in Kensington, so I'm, I'd like to say I'm, I'm, I'm being worked on as far as becoming good. But, um, yeah, like I was saying, uh, nothing really kind of comes out of Kensington that's worth uh, speaking uh, positive about. But... Here's Ride Free. I, I kind of got connected to them about two and a half years ago. And um, fast forward to now, I'm like a, a leading supervisor, head mentor, um, and I'm just like actively passionate about getting people involved and exposed to the resources we offer. So I'll just run down the list, man, because I know somebody that's listening to this probably knows somebody that can use one of these resources. And um, right off the bat, we got a free recording studio. And this ain't no brinky dink situation. We actually got two recording studios in the building. Um, it's at 1952 East Allegheny. All are welcome. Um, there is an age limit. I'll get into that in a little bit as far as the other programming we go. But the recording studio, you can come in at any age and start recording. We encourage it. We got two paid engineers in there. They're solid. One of them is a producer, so he can make his own beats. And the other one is just like an excellent mix and master kind of uh, engineer. But um, shout out to Hess and, and Jordan. Those are those are the engineers. Um, shout out to Coke. Cause, uh, Coke's is his, 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 uh street affiliated name but his, his real name is Lou, Lou, Louis Cruz he's the he's the founder of Rod Free so the I had to get those guys out on how to hustle podcast with hype is when you shout somebody out and then you send them the episode we tell them we only accept five stars not four ah let's get it yeah listen <laughs> as as is well deserved so yeah right off that man we got the we got the recording studio and I want to touch on that before I move on because there's so many opportunities within the um that's kind of the idea that he came up with before everything started kind of formulating with the, the rest of the nonprofit resources. But um, he has a, um, a passion for music and he understands the importance and the um, influence that it carries. So within the change that we're trying to create, he understands that it's a, it's a tool and a tactic to, to meet people in the music air, in, in their ears and get into their ears. So not only that, we obviously give the opportunity for people to um, 
record and um we since i've been there had uh, some events where we had artists being paid we got like a budget everything's um government grant uh funded but um we, so we for the artists get... who are for the artists who are listening now this is the last two weeks that we've done something for you put something out there last week we had the family affair on we had shots out to jay brody came on and told y'all we how we can get your music played for free on the radio now we have somebody on here telling y'all how you can get in the studio to record for free with for somebody free. to mix and max, mix and master your situation. If you're not taking advantage of these situations, I cannot do anything better for you here. I gave you the easy bounce pass. All you got to do is lay it up off the glass. If you fumble yeah. out of bounds and turn the ball over, it's nothing I can do for you. Go ahead. continue. Nah. <laughs> no, nah, that's facts, man. And, and you'd be surprised how many people either drop the ball. Uh, they don't even line up for the, for the play. None of that. So, Definitely take advantage of this. Um, if y'all listening and y'all are artists, y'all aspiring to get paid to do this, this is y'all first opportunity because, I mean, he's, we got the money to cut the check. So it's just a matter of if, if you got the drive and, and you got the will. So definitely connect on that, on that aspect. But, um, before I move on from the music, I want to make sure I'm not leaving anything out. There's just a lot of opportunities. I'm going to be honest with you and I'm not going to get into the actual details of them because they're still getting ironed out. But we just got uh, approved for um, the budget, um, uh, just uh, pretty much to get the money to um, offer Meek Mill. So if you are listening to this, Meek, we are coming for you and your reform movement. It aligns with what we got going on as the anti-violence initiative that we um, serve. Um, we want to, we want to, we want to partner with Meek. We we are expecting a part a partner with Meek and do a big city. Um, a big city concert. And those are opportunities for the uh, artists that we work with to do the, to get exposed to the audience that they draw in. First and foremost, we had, um, we shut down the whole Kensington like last year, last summer and had core come out. This is like right at, right in the midst of him. He was actually, he actually was, um, meeting up with Meek after he had did the show for us, but we had a bunch of our artists come and do their, uh, do their skit, had an opportunity to win a free, uh, verse from, from core, which one of our artists did get, and um, there's just opportunities like that. And I'm not an artist. So, like, I mean, I would just encourage you, if you are in that space, man, this is the place to be. There's so many different opportunities to create and get exposed to, like, the industry in general. So, yeah, look out for that 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 reform slash ride free um, concert. We're, we're aiming for June. So um, just, just just keep that um, in your mind if you're listening and hope, hope that you, can got, you guys can take advantage of it. Now, you said you got an anti-violence situation. Talk to us about that. This is, like I said, this is the segment where we find out what we need to know, where we educate yeah, the people on what's going on and why we have this specific guest on. So now, talk to us a little bit about the anti-violence situation. Because if you know anything about Philly, we are putting up entirely too many murders in these last couple of years. Yeah, yo, it's crazy, man. I'm going to start off, again, to give you another layer of who I am, um, or who I, who, who, what journey I've been on. Um, I actually, I'm out on bail right now. I'm out, not on just one bail, but two bails. This isn't something that I'm saying. And anything that I say isn't to be credited to me. Um, I do take accountability, of course, but as far as anything I'm saying that's like seeming like pride for arrogant, it's all, you know, accre intentionally accredited to God because if it wasn't for God, I wouldn't be here. If it wasn't for my Lord and Savior, Yeshua, I wouldn't be here. So, um, yeah, so I'm out on two bails right now. So about two and a half years ago, um, April 2021, I want to say, I don't know if the time frame is right, but it was about two and a half years ago. Um, I got exposed to, um, to ride free and that's a whole nother story, but, um, I'm out on one bail at the time, uh, it's for a gun and drug case. And it's actually ironically or intentionally right across the street from where ride free exists at the time I caught the case. It didn't exist. At least into my knowledge, it didn't, it technically didn't, but, um, Fast forward to me getting exposed to that. I'm out on a bail for a gun and drugs. Um, still out on bail for that. So, yes, this is all alleged charges, alleged uh, um, charges. Yeah. So, um, I'm, I'm the epitome of what, what the city can be like as far as it comes to the violence and, and, and the problems, specifically in Kensington. So, you can, you can connect the dots on how um, intentional me now working for an anti-violence program right across the street without me even being like, just, it's not like it was a goal of mine at all. So it just so happened to happen, um, through the grace of God. But, um, the anti-violent initiative that Rod Free represents is exactly that. We are, um, combating, um, 
combating the, the, the crime rate um, one person at a time. Like I said, Hope, who is the founder of um, Ride Free, had an amazing opportunity to hire whoever he wanted to with the budget that he had. To, um, I mean, actual case workers and, and case managers and, and job developers and all this kind of stuff. But within his um, decision, he thought it made sense to hire like relatable people, people that are the people we're trying to go out there and get this information to, because it's obviously going to sound, no one wants to really go to career link and hear about what ride free has. Like it just doesn't, it, it kind of, it, 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 there's a, it's easier when you can reach reason. out and touch the person. It's easier you know, when you get, to get word of mouth. Yeah, exactly. So I, I really always tip my head. Word, for excuse that. me, the word straight from their mouth, from the, from you to get the word straight from your mouth. From the easier. Mouth. Yeah. yeah. Yo. And there's so many different examples of that. Like, don't get me wrong within hiring a bunch of street guys or guys that's transitioning from the streets or people because we got some females on staff. Um, it's not easy. It, it, it didn't always work. Um, I definitely um, like to consider my my case um, uh, like a, a prime example of what the opportunity can, can offer somebody and what it means to the city. So instead of me doing whatever I could have been doing um, or what I, the direction I was going in, now um, I'm in a place where I can pretty much just pour out the potential that I feel like God gave me in regards to like influencing in a proper way. The best thing that you could do, just like I just said about the music situation, is give somebody an opportunity. You can give somebody an opportunity to to rise to the occasion or they can fumble. And you yeah. gotta let them prove themselves to be good, bad, or indifferent though. Uh just like you said, they gave you an opportunity and you have a choice there whether you wanna turn it into something positive or you just be on some BS because it's like you said this is ironically enough you catch the situation right there where you're now turning crazy, it into a bro. positive. Like, I still don't be getting over that part it's crazy. I, like I, I have to drive down the block every day just to like on some of my pinching myself type stuff like literally just was selling like hope because that's all I just sell we, we again we're out of where we're allegedly shit don't just happen started. shit happens for a reason <laughs> stuff yeah, don't be just that. that ironic it be really that's stuff is happening for a specific reason a specific way <laughs> Every day is just all in how do you handle it, how do you look at it, and what do you take from it? Man, and to be fair to the audience, man, without, you know, or with incriminating myself, I just know, honestly, I'm, there's no fear in my heart um, because of my uh, my faith. And, and this isn't something, this can go up and down. But in this moment, I just definitely want to be honest and real. Um, but I was doing all the wrong stuff, man, and all the wrong stuff. And, and this definitely gave me an opportunity to, to turn things around, Um and that's what it offers everybody that's involved in, in it, whether it's staff members. Um, we got a staff. I just was counting the other day because I'm in charge of like 18 interns. So we got an internship program right now where you're getting paid to be a part of our team, our outreach team and, and whatever else areas you fit in. Um, it's like a three month program. And, and you basically get your opportunity to kind of fill the resources that we got around and the opportunities we got or create some value so that you could be a member of the Rock Free team. Um, but. I know, right? Do y'all help? Do y'all uh, help people with jobs and all that type? Oh man, yeah. So let me get back Talk to the list, and then I'll just I'll run down the list. I'm about to say you, it. I'm about yeah. to say, come on now, give it to yeah, us. All right, let me we got we got niggas that need to know what's going on. We got niggas that need to know what's going on. I got you, folks. Yeah, forget about what I got going on, but just to show y'all that it's really super real for me out on two bells, bro. Like y'all can't do this, y'all crazy. I mean, making it work. I just told you I'm a supervisor there now. Like, I just I'm out on two bells. Like, anyway. Um, so we got brand development lessons. So you can you can go in there and, and what I initially got in there doing was I was making non I was making shirts for my nonprofit. Actually, I was making shirts for I got introduced to their to them because I was getting I was making shirts to get a billboard for this conference that my church was having. First time I ever did community work makes a lot of sense now because it, it just kind of exposed me to my value in the community. And then fast forward to everything I got going on now. But so I made shirts in there. I made a whole clothing brand called Cross Cultures. Um, you can follow it on Instagram. It's uh, cross underscore underscore cultures. Um, it's kind of stagnant right now only because my last um, drop kind of didn't go well financially. Um, as far as like I took some losses, L and I kind of ran down on me down the Eagle Stadium. And then uh, overseas product. Yeah, it was a couple things that didn't go my way. And I'm kind of stretched out. out thin, So those type of things to put you on hold. So, but it's an amazing brand uh, nonetheless. And I uh, can't wait one, to get thing back the one thing about a clothing line, I always tell people is don't try to start off too fast. You got to start small. You got to have baby steps. This is like a, just like a child when they learn how to walk. They got to first learn how to get off the couch. <laughs> <laughs> then they got to crawl. Then they got to walk. And then you can run. You can't just get then off the couch. Fall. And then you got to fall and know how to get back up. That's a big part, too. 
Hey, no, my copy, no doubt. <laughs> Most yeah. niggas think that you're just gonna run straight out the door, and I'm gonna start nah, off my joint, and nah. I'm gonna be polo in three days. That's not how it works, <laughs> right? Yeah, <laughs> no, nah, I mean, sometimes you get those crazy lightning in a bottle and uh, situations, but man, don't, don't, don't build a foundation on that idea for sure. So yeah, so you can go in there and make a whole brand, not only with the brand um, creation. So it's a vinyl. So I started, I started doing a uh, vinyl pressing in there. So we got two instructors in there that can teach you how to start with the heat press and vinyl um, situation. So pretty much you can create your own image or get assistance with creating your own image logo or et cetera. Um, and you get your own vinyl. You come in there. We got all the machines. And you'll learn how to take it from the computer to your clothes. Um, then we got a, a community shop in there as well. So again, 1952 East Allegheny, two blocks away from Kensington, Allegheny. Watch the needles on the floor. Um, you can go in there. Literally. You, can own, you can go in there, create your own clothing brand. You can go in there and leave your clothing brand in our community store where we're free of charge. We bust the tracks for you. We um, leave a form of payment. Um, and it doesn't have to be closed in the community shop. So any merchandise you got, you can leave it in there and we sell it for you. Basically, you come in there, you set up your station, you leave it in there. And that's just how that works. So that's it what sounds the like we that. need to get some of that custom hustle merchandise. Down I'm talking about like situation. that was the first thing that I'm like, oh yeah, this makes sense from the rip. Once you started giving it up, shout out to your brand too, man, because you definitely, uh, you definitely stand to sturdy. You know, ten toes, literally, like who would just sneak off and everything, and there's the whole brand on there, and it was, and it was probably sneak stuff. Yeah, and you said you got a different color, uh, skis. So yeah, I definitely, uh, think you need to be in there for sure. Copy that. So, so that's um that's the clothing situation. You can go in there and start the um the brand development lessons and all that. That's what we kind of categorize it under. Then we got a, a gym room in there, so we got a bunch of stuff. It's it's, it's raw, so it ain't like you're gonna go in there and still plan it to this. We got a bench, we got some weights, we got a boxing um bag, we got a treadmill. I'm um, sorry, not a treadmill, a bike. One of those bikes. We have um some yoga mats, some uh free weights. A bunch of bunch of stuff that if you really were serious about getting in shape, you can go in there and get in shape and lock in the room. Basically, what you're saying is we have all the, we got all the equipment that you need to do whatever it is that you need if you're trying to really That's be it. serious about turning your situation yeah. around. If you want to be proactive I mean. about becoming better as far as your business acumen, you're looking for a job. If you're looking to start a clothing line, you want to start a business, you want to get your body together. We have all of that happening right here in the city. It's all in the so you know, head on the swing. But yeah, no, uh, I will. I will throw this in there though. Go ahead, I'll let you finish. But yeah, like this is just to pay attention to what's going on around you. Like I said, you threw two things at me when I when we met. And shout out to Podcon because we met down at Podcon. Shout out to Wallow for having that whole situation. Uh, like I always tell people, as soon as you said that to me, I said I'm for I'm for anything that's positive in the city. And you threw two things at me, and I said stop because that's an episode. Here's my phone number. Yeah, and, it's like that's a fact. This is my whole situation is I'm really not even this episode is not for or about me because you put me on some stuff that I didn't know about. So now I'm yeah. already like, all right, well, look, this is an off mic conversation. We need to tap in and make some situations happen. But I yeah. want everybody to listen to this information because you're not just frivolously talking here. You're talking about, yeah. again, trying right. to do I, something better for the situation. And salute to you in case nobody else tells you we appreciate it. We need more people yeah. like you out there. In case nobody else is going to tell you that. <laughs> I mean, if anybody does get any type of um, information that they want to act on, with, 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 we got to give a shout out to you for creating a platform because if they heard it on here, where else would they have heard it from? So um, big shout out to you for creating a platform for, for people oh, like yes, us. And like you were talking, man, at the end of the day, man, connecting is a is, is a thing. So I don't want people to, that to go over people's head, man. You can, it's not easy and it's not, natural for us to want to connect because it's always the whole you being joe or the whole but when you got a goal and you like you doing something for a reason that's not joe that's you being a go-getter so all right so i, 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 I love that you reason. i love yeah. that you brought this up man my man having this conversation at work and he's like man i just don't want to be joe with these white boys trying to get on the, uh trying to get on and all that for work i'm like bro you sound dumb you got kids to take care of you talking about you don't you don't want to ask a nigga about some work or about sense. something that betters your situation because of what somebody else might say? Who why do you care? When my daughter say what's for dinner, I don't want to be looking around like ah, I want to yeah. be able to answer the question. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And not because I had too much pride to ask somebody for help. So my whole thing is always who's this nigga? Because I don't know him. If we in the right setting, 
You know what I'm saying? We in the right setting, then it's like, all right, well, look, it's all interaction. Like this situation that we was in at PyCon, the whole reason I'm down here is for connections and networking. I don't know these 60 niggas that's over here in row 12. Let's go meet them. Let's go, go meet let them. them know who's the boy who had the sneak song? Who the boy who had that sweatsuit? The boy asked me, first nigga who see me in the line, say, damn, bro, you got a follower of me because I like that jacket. I said, well, you can get your own drink done up at, right here. You know what I'm saying? Like that. Um, all right, so now we're gonna switch it up. This is the get to know segment. This is get to know is sponsored by Custom Hustle. Wait, wait, wait. Can I, I before we before we go, I just gotta give y'all this rundown. We ain't I'm not gonna give it to y'all in detail like right. I did the last time, but I gotta run down these resources. So we got a mentorship program, we got job placement assistant. We definitely getting y'all jobs. I like two weeks, two months ago, I got 50 people hired at Snipes, the Snipes uh cell doing I had. That's one thing. We have um obtaining documentations like ID and all all, all those type of things, birth certificate and ID. Resume building. You can come in there and get your resume built with uh LC. Shout out to LC. She's our job developer. Um, but she helps out with that. We got a free OSHA 10, free OSHA 30 um certification. You come in there, we paying for that. We got a free CDL program. This is our top zone. We got a free CDL program that we get people certified in a CDL, like a class A. Like I just made a connection with a job, but it's in Missouri, but they pay your gray on the go over there. If you didn't have nothing else you wanted to change your life, you get your CDL with us. You go to Missouri for two weeks. Um, I'm sorry, they didn't say how long. Um, you go over there, they pay for your hotel, they pay for your Greyhound, they pay for your orientation. You go in there, you train because a lot of people, when you get your CDL, they don't hire you until you got the uh, the um, the on the road uh, experience. So this is a like stuff like that. I'm talking about like I have um, one of my mentees hit me up seven weeks after he gets his uh seven weeks into enrolling. He he passes your fastest boy that ever passed his uh CDLs. Um, got a CDL. He called me from Kali, like, yo, bro, I appreciate you. You changed my life. Like, you helped change my life. And, again, like I said, no credit is to me at all. I'm out on two bells. That, but, um, so, the, yeah, all that. And then the easy one day, you go in there and get a forklift. Like, if you don't do nothing else and you don't hear about nothing else, come get a forklift certification. It's free. You get it in a day. Like, you sign up on it. The only thing is now we kind of starting to do a lot of people be playing and we be having to pay for the spots. We don't want to lose out on money. But long story short, um, you come in, show commitment to come in to, you come in and sign in, literally come in, scan a QR code, you prove that you came in. After the first week you come, second week you come, you get a date, you get your seat, you get your forklift in the day, in, in the day that same day. We take you there, we, we, we do everything we can. So that's pretty much, um, give or take the, the resources that we offer. And they're all free. And 18 to 35 for any of the programming, I don't want to mislead anybody, you got to be 18 to 35. If you wanted to get a CDL certification, um, we do have, uh, Another um, partner that we send that we send people to. I don't have all their details. I let the job developer do that. Um, but as far as our situation, we deal with Smith and Solomon. There's CDL and all that, so it's sweet, man. It, CDLs is like six, seven grand right now, and and it, it's it's just a great opportunity, and it's for free. And it's like worst case scenario, you do it for three months, you lock in for three months, and you get a free CDL. Like if you don't even want to do it, like you'll have a free CDL. You always have that in your back pocket that you can do it. Copy that yeah. and throw out the address one more time for the folks in the it's city. 19, Come 19, over to bridge or wherever you at. Say it again. Yeah, it. right. No, no, it. It. <laughs> no, like people done came down there and changed their ID because we do have to. You do got to sign up with a with a with a state ID, PA state ID. But we didn't have people from Jersey come switch stage on and all that stuff. Whatever you gotta do, come get the free these free resources if it's gonna really benefit you and change and change your situation. And if you don't know no, if you can't, just plug somebody in. We know you know somebody like. Boyfriend, uh, little cousin, little brother, nephew, anybody. If you if you can't um take advantage of this, please like lock somebody into this. Um, it's 1952 East Allegheny. It's the basement. It's, it's called. Can't miss us. You get that close, we'll 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 we'll, we'll find you. We'll you just say right there. Say that one more time. You said 1952 when you cut out. 1952 East Allegheny. My uh, AirPods about to go out, so hopefully that don't let me know when you don't hear me. Copy that. All right, so now y'all got all that information. Please lock in, check the bio for the episode because we will have the information in the bio for the episode. Uh, appreciate you hitting the button is what we always say. So you hit the button and it only been for the Julie's last couple of weeks. Now, like I said, we're going to sl slide into the Get to Know segment of the show sponsored by Custom Hustle. That is at Custom Hustle World on Instagram. It's Custom Hustle Co. on Twitter. We do custom jackets, custom jerseys. We got football, basketball, baseball, hockey, soccer. We got four versions of the sneakers, the CH1s, 2s, 3s, and 4s. We got the flip-flops. We got the sweatsuits and all types of sizes, colors, whatever it is that you need. Kid sizes are available. Adult sizes are available. You get at us at Custom Hustle World. 
and we will make it happen. We are customizing everything you need over there. So get at us at Custom Hustle World on Instagram, Custom Hustle Code on Twitter. Now, you situated over there? order it too, man. Hey, listen, get at me. Now, this is the Get to Know segment. This is where we're diving into you. <clears throat> so we're going to throw a couple of random joints at you, and you just throw me some answers. Don't think too hard about these. And it's funny that you mentioned this because you didn't even know I had this on the paper. What's your worst habit? What's your bad habit? My bad habit? I'm in a good space, man. Like, uh, I mean, the things that I'm working on the hardest is is the things that are most challenging but are getting better is um, um, sex before marriage and smoking. Those are my okay. bad habit. Yeah, but I'm, I'm on a streak right now. What's your favorite movie? Casino. Casino. Okay. What's what is when you say you hear somebody say great music? What is it that you think of? Is it just one? Because I got a couple that just ran in my head. Uh, the way I so like, said, don't think too hard about it, bro. Has to be like worship, like the the vibes. I don't even know what kind of alternative worship. I don't know what it is, but when like people, so like I've been exposed <clears> to like this. this alternative worship music which is basically people speaking on their testifying to their experience with god and that's been like life-changing fire like i'm talking about it's it's sturdy um but of course michael jackson like we can't go wrong with mike like uh, mike mike's classic now in this one we're gonna throw at you i throw out the year you tell me how old you were what do you think of 2005 and then, like, right around the Eagles losing the Super Bowl. I think it was 2003, 2004. That was 2004. All right. So, I would say high school days. Like, CEP. I went to a school called CEP, a disciplinary school. Okay. <laughs> this, this interview making me look bad, man. I'm a good guy, man. I'm a good guy, no, man. Bro, you just threw all you threw all of this, this fire content about all of these situations and programs. This is not making you look bad. <laughs> Mistakes. The, the past is the past. Ain't nothing we can do about that. We can only change yeah. the present and the future. That's so, it, man. If anything, learn from that. We, we you can't, can't do nothing mistakes. about. We can't do nothing about the milk that's spilt on the counter. All we can do is get napkins, paper towels. You know what I'm saying, and clean it up. But all we could do is make sure that the countertop looks good afterwards. So don't be scared to do that, man. That'd be the biggest challenge: is, is stepping in a different direction. And 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 once you do, man, you'd be surprised. All right. So now you said 2005 it made you think of like high school days. Yeah. Yeah. For sure. When you think of high school days, what you think about? zero discipline like no purpose <laughs> like just just floating and i wasn't smoking or nothing at that time so it's crazy high school high school all i think about is the hallway <laughs> the hallway i used I wasn't to always in school say enough that, to be in the hallways i used to always say that like man i wish i just had a camcorder just so you could record this shit like because you ain't right, everybody had no phones back then that's like, crazy. You, yo, do you know how church, geeks you had the be? church back then? Well, I had the church back then. Them Jones had just came out in 04. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but them Jones ain't have like a crazy camcorder to be recording, and you wouldn't have still had mm-hmm. that phone 20 years later to see Everybody like, was those still playing and snake and stuff on the Nokia. Remember them? That's what I'm saying. Yeah, you wouldn't have had none of that footage. Like, if you could have seen some of that footage now, just a random Wednesday, you would love that shit. <laughs> like, yeah. Kids don't know what they got, man. Nah, not at all. That's why youth is wasting. As I'm sounding like an old man. I mean, I, I ain't getting younger. I mean, ain't nobody getting younger. That's not the way this situation works. But <laughs> um, one more time, let them know where to come out to. Where can they follow the page? I'll give them all of that last information before we let you before we close out episode one twenty nine of the How to Hustle podcast. Ryan. Man, um, seriously, all jokes aside, y'all, you know, life changing opportunities here at Ride Free. It's at 1952 East Allegheny. It's in the basement. Ride free. Just get close enough to to Kensington and Allegheny and say ride free, and they're going to show you where it's at. But it's 1952 East Allegheny. We're going to roll a red carpet out for you. If you're a listener and you let them know that you was on, we do, we carry it however we carry it every time. But um, I, I, I do my all to make sure people get treated the way that we can. And uh, my name, Marcel, again. Um, if you can, if it's cool, I can plug in uh, my socials. Um, you can follow oh, yeah, me yeah. on uh, Instagram at longlive underscore fa. That's that's the the version of me that had to die fa, but longlive underscore fa on IG. I just started a YouTube channel. We I didn't tell you this, but um, when we met, that was like my first time 
posting and all of it's God led. So I'm actually going to upload another video today, but um, you can catch me on YouTube and follow. Um, please like and subscribe if you are moved to. It's called Kenzo Born. That's K-E-N-Z-O Born, B-O-R-N, 88. And that's on YouTube. Um, follow follow my story a little bit more on there. And before I say all that, I want to give, um, or after I say all that, before comes before all that, is is God, man. It's, it's, it's all about God for me, man. I really honestly wouldn't be on a, this episode. I wouldn't be talking. It wouldn't be no me right now if it were up to me. So obviously I got to credit the creator, um, the most high, all praise and honor. Glory goes to him. And um, I hope to see y'all down there, man. I know y'all know somebody and send somebody else. If y'all don't know, come on, like, don't just listen to this and act like it don't make, y'all can't make it make sense. Please make it make sense. It's free resources and people don't, yeah, it's free resources. Copy that. That's episode 129, y'all. I appreciate you coming on, bro. We Thank you, bro. Thank you for your platform. Out. I am hype. That's H-Y-M-P-E. It's hype. It's not hype. I'm not geeked up.